Welcome back. Um, Alexi has graciously volunteered to play some games with us uh, today. So let's enjoy some friendly competitive matches. This could be good fun. I think, yeah, let's play some 10 minute games. I think we want to play uh, four, uh, four game series, I think is what we're aiming for today. Um, so, uh, yeah, Shogi's a lot of fun. I still need to study it a lot better, but that's why we play. Yep, good luck. Alright, what do we do today? Let's go back to some of our older opening stuff. Doesn't necessarily mean I was playing it right, but um, there's some substance to what I was doing. Okay, so we take here, if I remember right. Um, Okay. Well, I am confused already. This is fine. Let's activate the rook. Why not? Okay, so they're threatening a pawn drop here. So I think at this point this is forced. Um, so advancing my rook out this way isn't necessarily going to work. Um, Okay, I still think that's the best way for me to try to use my rook.
7分<laughs> For six minutes and sixteen seconds exactly. Interesting. For six minutes and eighteen seconds. Yeah. That seems possible, I suppose. Hey, I might have built a castle today. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, okay. Go Fun. Here goes nothing. Hmm. I wonder, instead of exchanging everything, is, do I have any alternative here? I didn't see any last turn, but... Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, I could bring up this gold, and that could get messy, maybe. Not really. Well, keeping this gold-silver thing together matters a lot. But yeah, it seems the thing that was adjusted for this game was that they played a central castle. So the king is sitting here. Uh, 
So that does make the game pretty dynamic. Mm -hmm. Oh, if my other silver were here, this would be a different situation. It's not. Um... Hmm. Well, we're going to learn something about this shape. First of all, I've not played this shape before, so we're already learning something. Um, but second, yeah, I'm debating if they ex if they take. First, I think I do take back with the silver, and if they drop a pawn. They move the silver out. Well, no, if I move the silver, that splits my castle, so that's like my last resort here. But it's they're going to split my castle no more matter what happens here. Um, they're going to take this bishop exchange for some reason. I don't know why. I do bishop takes. And then the rook hits. Samson. And it's weird. I don't get it. So I've split up my beautiful castle, and now this position's difficult. Um, Nifun Sanjubio. Mm. That hurts. It's confusing. So I'm making guesses here. My guesses don't seem to be very good ones. Um. Yeah, so... There's not a clean way out of this. Well, let's pretend that this is fine. Maybe it will be. If we pretend hard enough. Um... Ship drop, knight up. 
gold over, knight takes, gold takes, knight takes, and same situation. Okay. I should drop. Hmm. Yeah, this is just bad all around. Um. So, uh, I could activate my rook. Oh. That didn't cross my mind. Um... Let's try to keep this together. Oh, this is pinned. Okay. Well, this is my clever idea, so let's do it. How bad can it be? I mean, it was my idea, so that kind of answers the question, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just concede this. Thanks for game number one. That was complicated. And they built a castle in the center of the board. I tried to build a castle somewhere near the center, and then I split up my castle when I thought I saw some tactics. Didn't quite work the way I thought it would. Um, not to say the least. It's a shame. Alright, um, I guess when we play a game series, yeah, I don't know. Generally we just play it or study it, I don't know. Um, good luck. All right, let's play this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What to do now?
Okay, so my king is lined up with their king. Let's aim for the king. Well, this is going to be something. Since I played Senta, I'm supposed to show some initiative and attack something. That's at least how the theory goes. Am I going to be able to lift up to my burden? I don't know. If I can solve this endgame, maybe. Um... All right, this looks fun. How fun is it? I could just be absolutely out of my mind here, but... Um, but I don't know, it actually looks fun. Um... See, here I was thinking knight takes it first. Um, then it dawned on me how bad a move that could be. Let's keep my rook active. Mm Ah, okay. Well, you're not going to be the only player making mistakes this game. Um, I can virtually guarantee you that I will at some point make a mistake. Um...
So the conundrum here is I need to activate my pieces. But my opponent's pieces are very rapidly becoming active too. So how do I deal with this situation? Well, this defends the rook. So there's no tricks that allow me to win the rook there. Um, Oops, I accidentally clicked between the squares, which is better than accidentally dropping it on the wrong square. The test of my end game reading. Interesting. Gofun.
3分2分30秒うん。Mm. Tactics just don't work the way they imagine that they do. Somehow I thought this would be advantageous after they take that, or after they drop here, or something like that. Oh. Well, that's even clearer, isn't it? I thought I was going to drop here or something in response to that. Um... Mm -hmm. 1分30秒。1分。Oh! They have the piece I just gave them. That's how Shogi works. When am I gonna learn that? That when you give your opponent a piece, they can use it against you. That seems like a pretty fundamental concept. Um... Uh. 
Let's uh gold is a strong piece in this castle. Um Sanjubio. Hmm. Nijubio. That looks familiar. Considering I just did that against my last opponent, you think I would see that. Oh, that's mate in one. How about that? Thanks for the game. No, well, that's fine. Yeah, that game that was messy. It's okay. All right. Well, that's two games. Uh, I guess we want to play four game series. So if you want, we can keep going. Let's get set up. Um, uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. We could do that. Um, so yeah, we, uh, Lee Shogi does allow games to be played by handicap, though I've not figured out how to do this just yet, but we could do it. Um, I think I have to set my profile, uh, my game behavior privacy something or other here. Um, to allow challenges. But other than that, I think that's not too hard to get set up. Uh, this overlay doesn't suit it well, so we go back to this. And this, um... Oh, goodness. Um, I don't know, some blitz-ish sort of time control could still be fun. I don't mind losing, uh, or things getting chaotic with the time pressure, so maybe, I don't know, either 510 or 1010 or something like that. Oh, I seem to remember when I play on this site, uh, showing the 81 Dojo badge overlays th with the piece stand, so we can't use that badge here. So we'll just be on Lee Shogi. Um, let's see, so Alexi, I believe, is over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Cool. Awesome. Good luck. Um... Oh, Z for Zen mode, that's right. Um. Oh yeah, we could abort this and try to get a handicap game set up. Yeah. Um... Let's see. I don't know how we do this. So, parent standard real time periods, increment, etc. Oops, let's try that. Oh, from position. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Okay, this looks uh, like a handicap game. All right, um, so in a handicap game, I'm supposed to play um, with some level of aggression um, in order to assert an advantage. So to do that, let's activate the rook and activate the bishop. Um, and not forget to build some sort of a castle. Oh, it's not... I don't need the hardest castle ever for this, because 
a rook handicap is fairly large. Um, yep, good luck. Let me check, does the overlay look decent? Yeah, it looks fine. Would it look better? Um, I've scaled the board as large as it gets here, so this is the only other thing I could do is turn on um, one browser effect like this. Makes the board look slightly different, but doesn't fundamentally change. Nah, that doesn't matter. Let's stick it back. All right. So, um, let's take some space here. Hmm. I'm just reminded that if I'm playing a fortress opening that, well, I'm not, but it's dangerous to open this up in the event of a bishop exchange, and yet I've played directly into that danger. Um, so... Let's put our king somewhere safe. And remember to activate the bishop, too. Now, a lot of bad tactics tend to happen if the king and silver get separated. Um, All right, let's load a proverb for inspiration here. Also, my king is pretty... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, um, fine, I don't want them to take this. Yeah, that's right, this website's quiet, so I'll boost the volume a bit. Um,
Hmm. Uh, good game. Yeah, I just can't think of a move here. Yep, good game. Hmm. So, yeah, this is a good defense. Um, and even though I showed some aggression, it wasn't enough, I guess. Um, no, I think uh, Rook Ads is probably good enough. Um, yeah, I think Rook Ads is probably fine. Well, <laughs> it's funny, we're starting at this end of the spectrum. Um, um, uh, you know... Let's, I guess, let's try two-piece handicap then. Yeah. Um, normally you're supposed to, like, start from a larger handicap and work your way to a smaller one. Um, once you're confident in the larger handicap. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, then, yeah, rook handicap is good then. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, surely two-piece is too much. Um... So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we could try it just to demonstrate that, like, I can do something. Um, but yeah, I should graduate out of two-piece handicap pretty speedily, I would imagine. Um... All right, good luck. That's right, yeah, the handicapped giver does move first. This makes sense to do, of course, of course. Um, Um,
guess the one thing that's different about handicap games is that the king is a target to aim at, but there's no bishop or rook to aim at anymore. So, this is going to require some adjustment on my part.
<laughs> Let's see. Oh, I have a pawn in hand. What am I doing? Other than making my position more complicated. Um, I think the Lance move might have been a mistake. I'm not actually sure I get the reference, although the name there sounds somewhat cute, so I guess we'll enjoy it. Alright, so if I advance the silver, um, hmm. this isn't as clear-cut as I thought. Well, no, I... Yeah, if they drop a pawn back here, knight takes, knight takes, pawn takes, I'm still breaking through on this file. Oh, but even sillier, if pawn drop, I could just retreat. So, yeah, this, um, yeah, they have to do something desperate here. All right. Um... break in.
Now I see it. It says Toad of No Man's Sky. That's how I parse it. It took me a while there. Um, my check there might have been incorrect. Yep. That's why I should not have given this check. Oh, poo. I forgot about a tactic. Maybe it's okay. But yeah, if they take a silver, I need to be prepared for this here fork. Um, thankfully, I think I can just take back here. They don't, they say don't run from a fork. Generally, that's a good proverb to uh, live by. But we're not prone to the fork in the first place if I dodge it. So here, this gold and silver are both attacked. Um, yes, they have to drop this.
I'm gonna get better at reading those tactics. Oh. I did not foresee that.
I'm being chased by spiders right now. That's kind of fun. Um, If you're not in time pressure, are you even using your time? All right, thanks for the game. Cool. Yep. Yeah. yeah, handicap games are a bit different. Um, I am curious about this last handicap game here. Um, other ones I can chalk up to like making lots and lots of uh time pressure based mistakes but here like i just had some massive blind spots as to what was going on in this game so i guess this is the one i'm most curious about reviewing i know it seems crazy like uh i don't know we were saying i'd probably win two piece handicap but i've i think 
I've only played a couple two piece handicap games before. I don't really know how they go. Um, but then again, maybe it's not the best use of your time for us to look at that when, like, I could be reading Kaufman's PDFs about, like, how do you play this? Um, so. Oh, what to do, what to do. Like, okay, yeah, this is the one I'm most curious about, but I, I would do really well to study, like, what Kaufman had re written about handicap games. Okay, I guess that's a point. Sure. Yeah, I guess I do say the same thing when I have chess students. I tell them the same thing, so... That's true. Yeah. Um, so, sure, I guess, yeah, let's, I guess we'll take a look at this last game. Um, sure, yeah, there's going to be a horrifying echo to everybody listening, but we can do voice, that's okay. Let me drop my PC audio to try to mitigate the echo. But yeah, this is probably the most efficient way that we could review is uh, through voice chat. So, actually, Lee Shogi has this voice chat thing here, doesn't it? I think if both players pick up this, in theory, it's supposed to initiate a call here. Though I've never used it before, so maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. We could just do uh, Discord instead. That's fine. Um. So, let me see. Got Alexi and my Discord history. So, let's uh, try starting a call. All right, and I guess it makes sense if we're to study this. We should take this game record. Should take this game record. Uh, welcome. Did you want to load this into a study? Uh, yeah, let's do this in a study. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you're listening on the Twitch, but I think if you mute Twitch, that could help. Um, yeah, okay. There, there you go. Yeah, okay. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you. Yes, we're okay. good. Okay. Let's see if you load this into a study. Yeah, I think maybe if we added some um a couple of minutes of clock, maybe maybe it'd be um easier for you to win. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. You can make the study. Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and make this a study here. Um, Let's see, so, oh, here's a study button, very good. You can create a study, and let's add Lexi. Very good, and then add him as a contributor. Awesome. Okay. Go here, okay. I guess I can move the pieces around. Uh, let me flip the board. And yeah, so one of the things that you need to know in uh, in really large handicap games is that you can play normal, normal even game Joseki and you should be totally fine. Oh, oh, that's so cool. It makes sense, so it makes sense that you stick to um, setups that you're that you're used to. Um, Yeah, so this is this is all good. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. So you make your your castle, and I thought this um this move here was really was really good, uh, because this area is kind of weak. Yeah. So you're pushing toward toward my weaknesses. That makes sense. Yeah, eventually I can uh, force this to exchange and then drop a pawn back here somewhere. Yeah. And, and given that I don't have my uh, my full set of pieces, it severely limits um, what I can do. I'm trying to attack and defend at the same time, and it's almost like you know, there's not enough guys to do what I want. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it feel almost feels like um you're you're being stretched too thin. Uh, when yeah, I think it. that's uh, even what motivated me to like try push this in the first place is that like yeah. I really wanted to stretch the castle, so you just didn't have the forces to attack anywhere here. Uh, so here, um, you you did this, which which is okay. Um, I, I think um, if you wanted to play um, more conservatively, and I would advise this, um, you just um, very calmly castle, and then you can even move this guy up, and you just um, you develop this knight up here. Ah, then, like you were um, saying, I could play normal Joseki ideas. Yeah. yeah. Just totally normal, normal stuff. Just make a hole for your king. Uh, just get a very healthy uh, king position, and then you can uh, decide what you want to do. Um, you know, in this right-hand area. Oh, cool. Uh, you might even want to um play, uh, play stuff like like this. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, you can even make like uh an Ishida setup. Ah, that's right. Yeah. And I I think um, I'm. The more pieces that you you get out, the harder my task is going to be. Uh, oh. So let, let's say um, yeah. let's say I do something like uh, I don't know, something like this. You see, the outlines are starting to come come more and more together. I mean, you even have ideas like this. And everything is coordinating. Yes. Yeah, the, okay, this is a different spirit than I normally bring to the game, but now that makes sense. I come yeah, from this chess like background a, where like in yeah, chess, you like could- Morphe rule, you know, you get all of your yeah. um, pieces into play and then, then you start, you start like trying to attack. Yeah. That makes sense, okay. Yeah, uh, you could do that, um, or instead of that, you could also um, uh, do this Ishida thing. Sure. And then um, I really don't know how I would I would play. Uh, one of the um, uh, the scary things is that um, because you're putting so much pressure against my position. It's very hard for me to develop this knight um, uh, because you do this kind of like in the game. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, because the knight can't coordinate with the other pieces because your castle is stretched uh, so wide. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing about when you're playing white and you're looking at this position is you're you're thinking about um, well, no matter what I you do you end up creating some kind of undesirable weakness and that that's something that the the shiitake player should remember when when going into um handicap games it's very hard to develop um, because i end up creating targets so it's almost like um it i end up white ends up having to make um almost like lesser of two evil or like damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of um, decisions. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but even this one is is okay. Um, so I did that. Yeah, this is it's all good. And uh, the reason why I played this is 
eventually um, when you play like this oh no i have the option of um after you promote i don't want you to capture the the lance with one move right so that, that's why i did that that makes um, sense It's not a great move, but I it's almost like I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a good move. Um, but prior to um doing doing your shikake, uh what I would advise is just to complete your castle. Just make your king like super safe. And then it's gonna be hard for me to do stuff. So sure. after after the pieces are exchanged, um it's going to take me longer to get a, to your king, so that like less accidents can happen. Yeah, I, that makes sense. So especially because Uapta here, handicap giver, has uh, not really had an opportunity to attack, so I can take my time and build up a stronger defense before I uh, engage. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And the thing about it is, the more you do preparation. Um, it's on for the white side. It's like, what do you do? Play, um, do you play, um, like waiting moves? Uh, because if you play waiting moves, it keeps it lets opponent like keep building up, sure. And if you if you play like try to play more aggressive moves, you end up creating weaknesses. Yeah, I know. I've seen some people, yeah. some handicap givers play extremely aggressively in a, a way that seems quite reckless, um, but they have to sometimes. but there's yeah. multiple ways to play, yeah. Yeah, but no matter what, um, it's going to get worse and worse. Yeah. Um, so you played, you played this. Uh, took here, and this is this is also a good move. Cool. And yeah, you. Okay, so I I didn't want to do this, but I I didn't know what else to do. Sure. I'm gonna end up losing uh, losing material now. Uh, so you did that, uh, and I did that just to um, just to try and um, like make things a little bit murkier. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. After I played this, I kind of regretted it. I know I want to activate my rook, but it, it seems hard. Yeah. Uh, was there something? Something better. I think you should have um, waited. Um, maybe you can just uh, take here, and just you can just be really patient. And I think eventually you can kill this guy. I I can um like try to um like make some just uncomfortable kinds of things for you, but uh, I, you know this. It's almost sure. like very very desperate. I guess you can just do that. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the knight can't even move anymore. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to um, like make play. And then you, you just calmly kill kill the knight off. And it's like I. Yeah, I don't think I have. Um, I can't see a way a good way to make play after this. That makes sense. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're right. Um. Yeah, so a little bit more calm, calm play in general. Um, more preparation. I think um, I think that's one of the main takeaways from this. Although this, um, I don't think it's that bad either. But I, I do have that. Um, so maybe um, so maybe if you do this. Yeah, I think this works, and then like, yeah, if the gold moves over, I can push here again, and yeah, uh, take here. Oh, uh, I I recapture. Yeah, you don't oh, want wow. me to. Yeah, you, you want to eliminate my counterplay, right? That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. And you you don't. Want, this looks this looks tempting right now, but you have to uh, look at the counterplay. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah so, even um, even more tempting at this point is just taking the knight back here. In the knight. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, let, let's see if there's like a clean, like an even cleaner way to do it. Oh, okay. Could, could you, 
one that like leaves me with like no hope at all. Interesting. Uh, I think you can just do this oh. and then just kill kill the knight off. Yes. Yeah. And then after you kill the knight off, I no longer have this this here. So you can start to consider stuff like like this or um I yeah, see. Geez, yeah. What do I do now? Yeah, I, I don't even you see if I if I drop if I drop here I, I think not not here because of the night here so right yeah it is a I guess it is a little bit annoying but you, you should still you should still be okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting that there's a lot of good calm moves to be found. Yeah, so you can do this and then get this knight and this bishop into play and then uh, play like this. Yeah, just really calm stuff. It's and good. then I, yeah. I don't see a way to get a uh, really meaningful counterplay. I have to just kind of desperately thrash around. Sure. Yeah, so I, there's almost like too much for me to do. I want to do this. I also want to do this, but I can't, you know, I only have one move. So um, this is, um, they say isogashi. It means busy. Hmm. You have too much to do. Yeah, so I, I had to do that. Yeah, and I, I thought this was reasonable. Um, yeah, I, I think I had to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think you can, uh, do this. I, I don't know if you can, uh, if you can even ch throw in this check first. This is really annoying. Yeah, very, very annoying. Yeah, it's, it's a very good activation of this bishop. Uh, yeah, you, you can do that. Uh, you even threaten like this. Oh, I see. Yes. I, I don't have a, even a pawn in hand to like, like try to confuse stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, if I, if I do like this, you can take care first. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was my impulse uh, looking at this post game here. But yeah, taking here this mates or gets very close to it. Yeah. So. Yeah. This is. This is finished. Yeah. Uh, so that means that I'd have to use a piece, and as soon as I drop it. That means I have even less uh, things to like to use to try and get counterplay. So the right. moves like this, um, throwing in checks like this, um, it's really useful for attack and defense. Yeah. So you're you're attacking and then you're forcing me to defend. So it helps you defend by uh, giving me less to attack with. Yeah, and it also doesn't like ruin my attack either because like. Sure, sometimes you can give check in ways that your pieces get stranded in corners of the board and are difficult to use later, but here this has many spaces to go to after this check. Yeah. yeah. Very, I... very, very desperate. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Uh, so I, I took here, uh, you took there. Um, yeah, so I was dodging this fork here, but um... yeah. yeah. And I took here. 
Honey, it's it's like a a Nahiro, except it's one square off. Oh, I must have missed something here. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, just just calm, calm moves. Mm, this one's a little bit heavy. Yeah, it blocks my rook. It's not good. Mm. Yeah, I, I have no pawns in hand. And uh, this square is weak. Uh, this square is weak. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in some, I'm in some trouble. Yeah, that's an interesting way to think about the position. Yeah, because here you have silvers defending these squares, but it's only one silver and one silver. So I guess that could be considered weak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this um, this uh, silver's uh, pinned down to the defense of this gold. Yeah, that, that's why this that's why this square is weak. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so um, when you're attacking, what you you don't want to do is merely exchange off pieces. um, Because yet um, you want to make sure that the attack actually advances. Uh, Because at minimum, uh, let's say I just drop like here. And it's almost like you you lost time. Yes. Yeah. But in this case, it's it's a bit worse because I don't even need to drop here yet. Yeah. So I get one more um, piece to like try and create some some kind of mischief. Yeah. So this is kind of um, you you notice if this gold were already up here, like I mentioned, um. Moves like this wouldn't even like exist. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the the, the weakness is if I mean unless your your king is like um so like completely solid um sometimes there's bad Aji around it. Sure. That comes back to haunt you like later on in the game. Uh, hit that. But even, um, I, I guess doing this is okay. Um, sort of, this is kind of like pie in the sky kind of stuff, but uh, I, I threaten here, so, you, but you, I think you just pull back somewhere. Uh, maybe like to here. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's still, I guess it's still a bit annoying. Uh, so after, after this, maybe, maybe even now you can just do that. Maybe. Yeah, I only have, yeah. I have the knights and pawns, so it's going to be hard for me to make play. Yeah, you're right. Now I made some inroads. Okay. So there's some bad odds here on my king too, so I have to do this. Uh, I, otherwise, this is um, this is really uncomfortable. So I, I had to do that. Um, yeah. So right now, the, you notice the bishop isn't being used, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. I need to move my rook again if I move it there. But I guess, yeah, there are other places I could move this, aren't there? Yeah. So earlier in the game, let's say you had played a prep move like this, then the bishop would at least be able to get into play this way. Uh, yeah, so again, it came down to, like, um, preparation before you attack. Sure. Yeah.
Yeah, so if I if I take this, I think all of my a lot of my plans of disappearing. So I didn't want to, so I, but I, I just took here. So you're kind of pushing my guys back. So you're still you're still doing pretty well, but I, I made some gain. Uh, yeah, I, I would avoid moves like this. Yeah, I should find something else to do here. I couldn't... I was looking for something else. I just didn't see it. Um, what about here? Um, I take here, then... Um, Oh, that's interesting. I guess if you if you wanted to, you can kind of put like keep pushing my token away from your king to make it safer. Sure. Uh, if I if I throw in like this knight drop here, you you just run up. That makes. Sense. I don't think I I made that much. I I made some gain, but not. Yeah, maybe start getting the, the pieces into place on all. Yeah, let's well, keep coming back to, get... to this theme of I need to use all of my pieces to be successful here. Yeah, this is the the big um and the big thing. If if I do that, I guess. Uh, I'm going to start harassing the rock, though. Maybe, maybe you can try to um, start getting the, this guy into play. Yeah. Um, so you threaten here. Um, I have to probably... Probably do something like this. Although it no, that becomes a bit too much of a target in that case. Yeah. Yeah. This this actually looks kind of annoying. Or no no oh I see I think I see a better. I think I see a better one. Uh, can you find yeah try find the move here. I think I think he can win this one. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, very good. You have a very good move. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. The first thing that occurred to me was a silver drop here, but that doesn't look right. No, that blocks the bishop. That's not good. Yeah, a little bit heavy. Yeah, it's... Um... I wonder is this too heavy um yeah um I'll, I'll give you a hint see this guy and this guy yeah you want to um right now my my king position is very very brittle and your um your big pieces are active so try and find a way to like uh make use of that Okay. Oh, um. So when the position is is brittle, 
you, you have a a fair relatively safe king um so that means you can just like like go for it yeah, yeah that... just a few more hammer blows and my position will like fall apart Yeah, the most aggressive idea that occurred to me was this here. Yeah, good, good, good. I yeah. thought that this was a good defense. And um, then, how do you play? Um, so I'm, I'm trying to evaluate. Oh, wait a second. That doesn't work the way I thought it did. Um, yeah, good. And then the thing just falls apart. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't. I can't even do this because of that again. Right. Uh, so uh, let, let me just let me just mark that here. So um, so after this, um, so you're threatening this. You're also threatening this. Both at the same time. You're also threatening this. Yes. It's just a secondary threat. You, you don't want to play this rook, this rook sack yet, but um, you keep it in, in. Um, so so um, maybe a move like this. Um, and I think. I, this might, if I do this then and try to hold the position together, you, you just want material. Um, yeah. And then I, I don't have, I don't have play. So I think after this, I have to take here. And then my yeah, position so. starts to fall apart. And then this is, oh. this is too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah two, two silvers seven. and a gold. So this king is not going to escape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think if I run, if I run up, um, I think you can just um, like keep putting pressure pressure on my king. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I uh, just get rid of my um, my defender. Sure. I just push it away. Um. I don't know what I where I'll move it to. Yeah, that makes sense. I could play, yeah, put pressure in front because you there's only a rook and two knights and some pawns to attack my king, and I have a strong castle here. So I, yeah, I don't need to panic here. Yeah, you, you can you can even do it like this, yes. and then it's like ah, nice. Uh, around here, there's there might be a mate. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, four, five. Yeah, there's a maiden five. Yeah. Okay, can you find it? Uh, I think I see, uh, yeah, I think this check. Oh uh, yeah, that that works. Yeah. Well, you, you okay? Congratulations, you you found a maiden three. <laughs> yeah, better than what I saw. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The the one I was looking at was this. Uh, that that that. Um, but yeah, your yours mates quicker. Yeah. Um. If I do this, I guess. Um, there's also a mate here. Yeah. So again, yeah. like something like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. So next goal drop. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So um, this is um. So I I guess I would have to do this, but then um, there's almost like. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong piece. Oh, sure. Uh, let me delete this. Uh, 
on the piece. Uh, you, you can just do it like this and then and then threaten them to keep coming in or even even taking here is fine. Uh, I'm just there's no, yeah. nothing I can really do. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I guess you can even drop a pawn here. Yeah, a sure. lot of a lot of different things. Yeah, yeah I guess at this point, a... like uh, yeah. there, uh, I'm the only player attacking at this point. So yeah, I yeah. can do many different things. Yeah. So even though I I have a rook in hand, there's you know I have completely weak king, and no really good way to um to use the rook effectively. So this is this is your win. Ah, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, this six five pawn. I, it, even this one's pretty close to mating. One, two, three, four, okay, it takes silver, takes silver. Um, the is, is this some is this some mate even um well let, let's look at this one first I think uh can you just exchange stuff off Oh, no, no, you don't need to. You can just take. Yeah, it. start to think it like. Sure. Yeah, that um, makes sense. There's this. Um... Silver, silver. Oh. On uh, night. Um. Is this this is all almost night pawn it's almost enough yeah, yeah it's al almost you know I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there if there is a mate but Yeah, I, I guess I guess you don't you don't really need to. You you can't even take here. Right. And th yeah. this is just gonna win. Yeah. M might yeah. as well play safe. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. This is this is finish. So at this point, it's starting to get um, harder, harder for you to play. Yes, um, there's fewer targets for me to aim at, and I still haven't protected my king. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're still winning, but um, it's starting to get really annoying. Yeah. See so, yeah. Yeah, things have gone downhill to this point and from here uh yeah i don't find many good moves but i think most of the interesting points are probably through uh the first 80 something moves of the game and yeah, yeah here this just i'm coasting downhill mm -hmm. but yeah i was just really confused how it is that um things got to that stage but now i think i better understand that yeah, I can play the game much more normally, and it's important to use all the pieces and to balance not just attack, but also defend my king a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you have any, any questions? Uh, no, I think that uh, really helps put things in perspective there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't remember any questions they have at this time, but yeah. Okay. Uh, um, 
Did Did you want me to to tell you what what happened with the second game? Oh sure, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah can you Can you load it? Uh, sure. Let me see. Yes, so that's the one that I was kind of kind of disgusted at what I was doing. Yeah, let's take a look. So I can load this. Here. Wait. Where is the second game? That's weird. See, how do I get it? If Shogi Extend, it's giving me one game, but that was played in 1307. I don't know where the second game actually, the record is for that. Uh, let me, uh... I search again. Check. That's weird. Okay, it's uh, yeah. Let me uh give you the, the tweak, and then you can uh. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, maybe I can uh just. Yeah, you could load it into another chapter if you like. Uh... So let me copy this, and then I add a chapter. But how do I? Add new chapter, uh, and then I paste this. Great chapter. Ah, uh, here. Thanks. Yeah. Let me uh, flip this guy. Okay. Yeah. So this one, um, it's it's hard harder to play uh, Ishida in this uh, because I get uh, because you have to block your your rook. Yeah. So another uh, another way to to um to play. I used to play this when I was younger. Have you have you seen it before? Yeah, I've tried this before. It gets extremely tactical. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah they, so, they call this American Mukai Bisha. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So one of the the reasons why um, they start to do this was um, people weren't playing this thing uh, early, and they were just kind of waiting sure. for, for like Mukai Bisha players. Um, so they would choose other things like this or or like this. Back okay. then, they wouldn't put the the rook here if the if uh, this pawn were still here. Nowadays, you occasionally see uh, people doing that if they're really, um, I guess, they really want to uh, get into uh, Mukai Bisha positions. Sure. So the guy um, Yokoyama, who I believe, was a former uh, Shogakuin. Uh, he he developed this. Uh, this interesting move. And after that, instead of uh, seven, eight rook, they would do this. And then they would castle normally. Uh, they would move the silver up here and this here. So mm -hmm. you get your Mukai Bisha, except um, this is played. And then sometimes you would move the silver up this way. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't do it don't play this uh, that much anymore because I actually prefer much prefer the e bishop position but it, it's an option so anyway getting back to the game um, so this is all fine um I didn't like this guy um, even even this one um I think If I were to do it again, I think I would have, I would have done this instead. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, since I've already pushed uh, pawn seven five, the silver has difficulty being used on the the other side of the board. Yeah, and then going to um, light sabaki, uh, attempt to go into light sabaki. 
Uh, then I did this, and then I, I was starting to think. Um, um, it wasn't as nice as as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not clean. Yeah. After I do this, um, the the problem with this is that um, it allows you to get sabaki. Um, so probably instead of that. This was, um, this might have been a better, a better try. Uh, and then do this. But um, one of the problems is if we end up getting sabaki for all of our major pieces. Yes. Uh, can you see the problem from my side? Um, well, this is more exposed, I guess. But, um, hmm. Um, oh, your rook is behind a pawn, so it's difficult to activate the rook. Um, so I guess my question is, imagine this position, except the bishop, both sides, bishop, bishops and rooks are all in our hands. Ah, uh, yeah, that eventually, eventually I could make use of this diagonal while I'm attacking. Yeah. Um, uh... Yeah, actually, um, what I was thinking of was this this loose piece here. Oh. It, this is a serious liability. So okay, after then. you drop the rook here, uh, you yeah. gain tempo off of it. It's a loose piece, and I start losing time. If the silver goes up here, it's not going to have very much of a future. Yes, and... Um... That makes sense. And even if it's defended there, eventually this could be removed and it will be hanging again. Yeah. yeah. Um, so compare, um, compare my silver to your silver. Uh, which position is better? Yeah, I prefer mine because it's closer to my castle. Yeah, you can just, if need be, you can just connect it here. And then you have very solid shape, whereas with with mine it's farther away. So that that's a serious liability. Uh, that's why I, after this this is a good move. Um, that, that's why I was making uh, comments that oh wow, stakes. So already I kind of I kind of start preferring your position. And I thought this was a good move too. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do this uh, show bute. Um, I guess if you, I guess if you take here, I take here. So. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, you, you took, you took there. Yeah. So, you see this guy's left, yeah? Yes, yeah. But at the same time, I have this token. So, it, it starts to get kind of, um, kind of double-edged again. Um, instead of this, I I think um, I think maybe you can just take here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Yeah, I have to save my um, save my token. Um, okay, I think this was an inaccuracy. I think I should have played this first to tempo off of this guy. Oh, I see. Yeah. I think um, it cuts out some of the Connor play, too. Well, okay, so you can get it. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see that even if I were to, like, interpose a pawn, um, 
that's not going to stop this from happening. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yes, that's a very good tempo to get. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the difference between this and the other one is it gives you a chance to um to nabari a bit. I, I guess you could have um sorry um Yeah, very hard to defend. Yeah, I was amazed just how quickly this attack hit. Uh, yeah. Um, I think you, you might be able to try like this. Um, but I, I think I can, I think I can just do this. So just, just pile up. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so yeah, I could try taking take, the bishop. Yeah, then I take this way. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I can't escape. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, everything with, with check and then gold, gold. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very impressive attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so a, a bit kind of shaky the way I was playing, but um, yeah, the almost kind of stupid thing was that. Um, it was almost like the um the handicap games I was playing better than than the even games. I don't yeah. know why it worked out that way. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. Um but part of it could it part of how I played might have affected that too. <laughs> um yeah, when I'm playing it generally I, I try to find some really surprising moves just i i don't know that's what generally somehow keeps me interested in the game is uh, i'll look at this very curious thing that's possible but um yeah the, a lot of the surprising moves i found in the handicap game were not especially good whereas these here yeah i found some uh some good moves this game Oh, that's yeah, I think clever. Maybe you could have done like this. Yes, that makes much more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like my position. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I was a bit surprised by this bishop drop on 7 3. Um, but it's already a difficult position, anyhow. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Unless you have any other questions. Um... 
Uh, well, let me take a quick look through some of this here. Um, oh yeah, you already covered how, yeah, there are other defensive things you'd prefer to have tried there. Um, um, yeah, no, I, I think that answers my questions. Well, uh, thank you for the games. Yeah, likewise. Thank you very much for the games um, and for post-game analysis. That was uh, very thoughtful and helpful. It helps put my mindset in the right place for next time. Hopefully I can calm down a lot more um, and find some ways to defend um, even before I launch a really big attack. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think next time you win. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's possible. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very, very much. Oh, really yeah, helpful. you're welcome. Yeah, have uh, a good day. Yeah, likewise. Uh, yeah. yeah, have a All great right. day. Yeah, it was a cool series of games. Thanks very much uh, to Alexi for... Um, this series of games that we got to play and analyze together. Um, yeah, like Transport says, uh, Alexi's a very strong player with a lot of experience. Um, so these were four quick games, and so yeah, a quick game helps us just assess where I'm at and see what can I do better and like where am I at and where can I go. Um, so that said, these were tough assessments and uh, yeah, I lost all four games. Um, so first two were just normal 10 minutes on Shogi Wars, and then we followed that with a uh, one-piece and then a two-piece handicap. Um, so it gives me some ideas of things I can do much better in the future, so I greatly appreciate uh, having these games together. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I know... I'm beat at this point, um, so I very much appreciate Alexi's uh, helpfulness uh, with these games and post-game discussion. Um, I'm exhausted at this point, so that's why I'm not proceeding with analyzing all four. Um, yeah, I. Oh, yeah, the way this renders on the website, yeah, it's that's uh, not correct. So that's yet one more bug I'll have to fix at some point in the future. Um, but yeah, um, still working on improving Lee Shogi and improving software integrations between Discord and Lee Shogi. Um, it's going quite well, so yeah, hopefully I can take more time to study how to play better, but there's things beyond just study I can do better too. So yeah, hope we all enjoyed this and learned a lot from it. Thanks again for to Alexi for this uh, great experience.